It's also restructuring the way it prioritizes emergency responses to focus on the most critical runs. Now, this all comes as the department says it's dealing with an increasing number of calls for service. Police will focus on violent crimes for the for the foreseeable future. And here's a look at what some of the department will no longer offer or check on. Vacation checks, think while you're away on vacation with the family. Noise complaints, animal complaints. Unless someone's safety is in jeopardy, police will not respond to those. And if you lock your keys in the car, you're out of luck unless your child is also locked in that car. Now, the department says that officers won't be pulled for custody ch exchanges either. Now, I asked Township Trustee Dan Unger about what message this move sends to residents. The message to the residents is we still maintain the finest police department in Hamilton County and we will strive to continue to do that. Just like any other government agency though, you know, funding is an important part of it and we're going to do the best we can with what we have and the residents can count on that. Now, Unger tells me the department is fully funded through the end of the fiscal year in June. Meanwhile, though, the police department says things like noise and animal complaints will be addressed on a case-by-case -case basis, but only if an officer is available. And this all comes as the township is receiving more calls for service than ever. The first quarter of this year saw a 6% year-over-year increase from last year. And police say despite these cutbacks, they can still safely and effectively protect and serve Colerain Township. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.